everyone, and welcome back to Copper Meadows for the culmination of competition here from Ramona, California. I'm Frankie Terry at Stutes, and today we're going to be bringing you the finale here from Ramona as we bring you highlights from all of the FEI cross country divisions. Bunny Sexton and Rise Against, and looking great out there as usual this combination. He always seems like he has a lot of life left coming through those finish flags, and today, no exception here at Copper Meadows. Yeah, he certainly has enough energy for 10 horses, so it's a little bit tough on a twistier course like this. Really good for me, makes me ride a lot harder. And plans for the rest of the season for you, Bunny? Um, we're gonna hit twin for just a straight advance so we can kind of polish things up. Then we're gonna go to the Galway three day, and then we're hoping to go back to Rolex next year. All right, well, really exciting to watch this pair. They've had a fantastic year here out on the West Coast as well as at Kentucky. Bunny making her four-star debut this season, and what a season it's been for you guys. It's been amazing. <laughs> it's been all my dreams come true. Congratulations. Thank you. Andrea Baxter and Indy 500, a great weekend for you guys here and finishing up right now just in the Professionals Choice CAC three-star division. And Andrea, how do you feel out there? Um, it was a bit rough. She hasn't been out. Uh, she uh, missed Montana for a trailer ride accident. So I really just started riding her last week. So she was a bit wild in the beginning. So I kind of had to do a lot of adding to get her to calm down. But the second half of the course was much better after we kind of had a few reality checks. <laughs> so. Well, you guys have worked a lot on her confidence kind of this season, and she seems more confident than ever. Like, even though you said in the, in the beginning, it took a little while to get her going, once she does, she kind of is more keen to do her job all the way now. Oh yeah, yeah, she's, um, we kind of had to back up and find all the holes, and uh, it was a weird one, but anyways, we found it, so she's good now. Um, so yeah, today, she, I mean, was honest as the day is long. I just had to have a little control checks in the beginning. <laughs> well, she's such a cool mare and plans for you guys for the rest of the year. Uh, well, I was, before Rebecca, I was excited to do AECs in Fairhill, but uh, my mom had an accident and the trailer accident there kind of slowed things down. So I'm just going to stick in California and do Galway CCI. All right. Well, it'll be really fun to watch you out there on Ian Stark's course. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Tamara Smith and my bomb will be your 2015 Professionals Choice CIC Three Star Division winners here at Copper Meadows. And Tammy, you guys came out here for kind of a light weekend before you head back east, but making easy work, winning the division by a very good margin, and, and now you guys are ready to head. Yeah, he felt great. Um, he was actually pretty strong. Uh, Heather came over and adjusted my bridle <laughs> right before I went out of the start box, and, and he didn't appreciate that, so it was tough getting him defense two and three, but then finally he, he just settled right in. He's just getting a bit fit and um, kind of not what I expect, you know, for him to be so strong. But then he settled into a rhythm and I cruised out there and all the jumps and all the combinations were easy for him, so it felt great. Okay, well it'll be very exciting to watch you guys. As we said, back east, you're heading to Plantation first and then we'll get to watch you guys at Fair Hill later this season. And just going out there, kind of, you know, your game plan for him, it's a long way out and um, you know what the route and plans will be. Um, we're gonna take our time going out. It's gonna take us. We're gonna take three long days and then settle um, about ten hours from plantation for a couple days and just give them um, a bit of a break. And then um, we're gonna get to plantation on that Tuesday. And um, you know he's trained and I've done my homework. We have our partnership. It's just now about keeping him fit and. Um, getting him prepared properly for Fair Hill. So I'm excited. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Morris and Charlie Tango will finish out this Western Underground CSC two-star division in second place. And Heather, this horse, as we've talked about so many times this season, a really, really exciting one to watch for the future. And he looked like he was just all into it out there. 
Yeah, once we got past <laughs> fence one, uh, it seems to be his thing. He just he gets just a little bit nervous coming out of the box and a little barn sour. But once we got past fence one, um, he was absolutely super today. Well, he definitely knows his job, and um, as we talked about earlier in the weekend, just seven years old, you guys will now head to Texas and um, get ready for those AEC. And um, you've ridden that course out there in Texas several times now, kind of know the terrain pretty well, and how do you think that course will suit him? He was actually lucky enough to do his first intermediate there, so I actually haven't heard um, about any changes or what they're going to do, but yeah, the it's such a good course that Captain Mark Phillips does out there and so um, they added a new water jump I know a little bit ago and so that's always exciting um, but the courses there are usually great and we look forward to it and just overall thoughts on Hughes course here Hughes done a really good job um, this is the second time they've run um, this direction and I think I'm sure he has some more stuff in store for the future but for his first time you know his first sort of crack at this. I think he's done an absolutely fabulous job. All right. Congratulations, Heather. Thank you. Tamara Smith and Chatwin are your Western Underground CIC Two Star Division champions here at Copper Meadows this weekend. And Tammy, the whole two star adding a little bit of time to their scores and you guys um, ahead by a considerable margin, just kind of coaxing around there and getting to know each other better. Yeah, he was actually really cocky. <laughs> um, and so I just I just decided to maybe educate him a little bit and make him listen and wait and be patient. And then he kind of settled down. He's just very over exuberant about his job. And luckily, um, we didn't have to run for time today. And I think it was a really good partnership, you know, already with just two runs. He's, like I said, my ride. So it's easy for me to just sit on him and, um, You've done a great job with him, buddy. <laughs> he's so much fun. Dempsey also having a great weekend here, and he's really come into his own this season. It's been kind of a, a game changer for his career. Yeah, it really has. He's stepped up so much. I, I'm so surprised because I was expecting to maybe spend another season at preliminary, and then I moved him up to intermediate, and then it, was, it just seems to be going really smoothly. So I did take it easy with him because he's a horse that I got to, you know, run at the important events because he already wants to go fast so um, but all the jumps and all the combinations were so easy for him it was fun. Well Dempsey also a horse that you're going to take back east with you and um, just plants his for, for his culmination of the season. Um, doing plantation as well with the other horse and um, I think he's already too fit for a fair hill so I'll be just taking it easy and we're working on relaxation and um, really excited about having both of those horses at fair hill. All right, good luck. Thank you. Holly Bennett Allen and Bodark are second place finishers in the Shires Equestrian CSC One Star Division. And Holly, this is a horse that you've grown a partnership with now for a while. And how did you think he felt out there? Um, he was super. I um, I couldn't be more happy with him. He uh, he had a great run in Montana in the two star, and I thought it'd be good for him to come and run back over a smaller track. And you know, I'm so thankful the Hoffs put up a, another CIC for us to participate in. So I thought I'd take advantage of it. Um, and again, the course was great. The footing was super. Um, you know, they put a lot of effort into fixing the show jump footing yesterday, and um, all my horses felt great in that ring. So, um, huge thanks to all the offices and their team. All right, well, we'll get to watch Holly a couple more times this season, and we look forward to doing that. So, congratulations, another great weekend for you. Thanks, Mama. A clean sweep for Tamara Smith in the FEI divisions this weekend and a Shires Equestrian CSE one star, no exception. So Tammy taking home the win in that division aboard Fleeceworks Royal. And this mare is young still, Tammy, but shows great promise for the future. She was great. Um, we've been working on her rideability and in the show jumping, and it was 
I didn't, I mean, it was so easy. I didn't have to really do anything. I just sat up there and she, I just steered her around to the jumps and mo my biggest focus was making sure I didn't go off course. I <laughs> kind of had a nightmare last night that I went off course and then didn't win. <laughs> so I was very focused on the colored and the numbers and um, and she was, she was phenomenal. It was so good, so fun. A good one star division here to really prepare these horses for the, what they'll encounter the rest of the season. Yeah, um, Hugh did, did step up the one star this weekend, made a few changes from the time before and really flowing galloping questions with a combination of twisty turns. Um, the track is hard here because it's on a small piece of property, but he, he designed it in a way that made it feel like it was on a very big piece of property and not um, maybe to the eye looked twisty, but it didn't ride that way. It, it rode great. All right, congratulations. Thank you. That's it for our coverage here from Copper Meadows. I'm Frankie Terry at Stutes. Thanks so much for watching and a huge thank you to all of our division sponsors, Professionals Choice, Western Underground, and Shires Equestrian. We'll see you next time.